welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my skincare routine video. So a lot of people have asked me what my new routine is because I kind of change it up once in a while and I've been doing this one for the longest that I've ever done a specific routine and that's like basically a month. My last video I had been doing a certain routine for healing my scars. Now that my scars are a lot more healed and they've kind of been just kind of just fading away gradually, I figured I would try some new things and just like see if it works. This is actually my skincare routine right here. Got Dr. Bronner's soap and I got castor oil and these have been my go-to products ever since. This you can get for, if it's on sale, like I got it, $5.49. This one is $5.99. I got this at like a little health food store. You probably could get it cheaper somewhere online. This lasts you about a month. So my routine on like a regular day, like where I don't wear much makeup, I'm just working out and I just, just chilling. I'll just wash with the soap, um, dry off with a clean washcloth and then I'll put this on, castor oil. Dr. Bronner's soap is amazing and it can be used to clean just about anything. Jojoba oil is used in folk medicine to assist in wound healing, treat skin infections, and other skin afflictions. It's even been shown to slow the aging process due to its anti-inflammatory effects. Peppermint has antiseptic and antibacterial properties. It contains rosmarinic acid found in rosemary which helps reduce inflammation. Hemp oil is said to prevent skin disorders like psoriasis, eczema, acne, and dry skin. When you put castor oil directly onto your skin, it penetrates deep and stimulates the production of collagen and elastin, helping hydrate our skin and delay the appearance of wrinkles and fine lines. At first, when I first put this on, I thought it was kind of like thick and I didn't really like it, but then when I like let it sit for a while and let it soak into my pores, it just felt amazing. My face felt less inflamed and irritated and I just fell in love with it. So I've been using it ever since. I don't really use it all over my body because it comes in such a little bottle. I leave this for the face and for my body, if it's really dry, I'll use coconut oil or something like that. But that's basically the day-to-day the -day routine. When I'm wearing makeup like this or um, I'm having a breakout and I want to do some sort of like real detox, I'll wash with this and I may even leave a little bit on and put a hot washcloth over it to kind of like, like, I guess, open up my pores and clean. And then I'll rinse that off and then I'll put on like a thick layer of castor oil and then I'll do the same kind of thing. I'll put, I'll take a hot, hot washcloth, not to the point of like scorching your skin hot, but hot enough that like, you can wring it out and touch it still, and then I'll just put it over my face and I'll just let it sit and it's like the best feeling in the world. And then once I do that, I just slightly dry off the towel, dab my face after, and I'll just kind of like let that oil that's like left over as like a nice moist residue, I'll let that stay. And usually I go to bed. I can survive with these two products for my skin for the rest of my life, and I, won't, I don't need Proactive, I don't need any other product out there. These two are my favorites. So please subscribe, leave a comment below, letting me know what some of your favorite products are. I'm always open to try new things, and if you guys highly recommend something, especially if it's organic, like I really am only trying to use organic things, I will definitely go out and buy it today. So I'll see you guys soon. Bye!